Hi, this is Dan from GD Productions. The question today is Will the new 12 volt coils for 8 ends and 9 ends burn up my points? The answer is no. The coil puts out, I believe he's put out 4,000 volts at the end of the electrode, but it, what it doesn't matter if we got 12 going in, it still puts out 4,000 volts. If we put 6 volts in, it still puts out 4,000 volts. So it doesn't matter. The coils are wound to accept whatever uh, voltage you're putting on them. So if you buy a new 12 volt coil, it's wound to only put out 4,000 volts with 12 in the other end. So that doesn't uh, affect the points. Now if the tractor isn't properly wired, so with the keys on, this has got 4,000 volts, you shut the tractor off, the points are closed, yeah, it will burn the points up. So the tractor needs to be properly wired if you're doing a 12 volt job. That's where the trick is on the 12 volt coil. Another thing we see wrong here at our shop, a lot of Ford tractors come in, the guy's put new points in, he's putting the coil in, he's frustrated the tractor will not run. What happens on these coils, the distributor's mounted on the front of the tractor. The coil is very difficult to get straight on top when it's mounted on the tractor. We take the distributor off the tractor. The back side has the little spring. This spring needs to be straight. As you can see, this one's nice and straight with the prongs sticking straight up. If it ain't, take a pair of pliers and bend it. Make it exactly straight up and down. The little electrode here can't be flat, it needs to be up. Take your finger and bend it up so it's up like that. So when it touches the cap, it makes contact here and here. And the thing that people do wrong on these four tractors is that a stripper is mounted on front of the tractor, they put it in on an angle so that this electrode touches the side there, touches the side there, touches the side there, and then it bends it and touches and shorts out. The tractor's not going to start. This has to go on inside that hole. If you look straight in there, you see the gold screw with a cup in it. That spring has to get straight inside there. So we're going to put it on there, straight on, so that it's straight on. The bale has to be on the front side. I did that wrong already. Get it in there. And see, I'm having trouble getting it to line up. I want it to go exactly straight in. I got it. Pop it over there, and you can see the little groove here. It'll lock in. Make sure that cap is straight on. Now I know the electrode is straight down in there and will not short out. It's a very small hole for that electrode to get through. Then we put them together like this. Then we bolt it on to the Ford tractor. We put it on to the engine. After we assemble it straight on so that there's no chance of shorts. That's the number one short Ford tractor.